be watching the Bobby and Barbara Peanuts show. Me and my husband, we show sure do. Tune in, y'all. We belong together, yeah, yeah. And you know that, and you know that we belong together. And you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. We belong together, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that, and you know that. We belong together, and you know that, and you know that. Hey guys, how are you? Thanks for tuning in with us. It's Bobber Peanuts with. <laughs> it's Bobby. You guys know if he doesn't bring us in a lot of times, then he has a cow. So, but we're back with another beer review. Thank you for joining us again. Um, Bobby, let me know what we're reviewing. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> you do that on purpose. I'm telling you, golly. What's going on YouTube? It's Poppy Collar Bobby, man. We doing a beer review. You can see it. Uh, Boulevard Brewing Company. Shout out to them out of Kansas City, Missouri. This uh, brand of beer is a 12.2 ABV alcohol by volume. We saw it before. If you can go back to one of our previous videos where, did, did we release that video? I don't think we did. We, we, was, we was in Total Wine and we was scanning the refrigerator and went right by this and said, nope, we're not doing the ride. But today on a special occasion, we saw 12.2 ABV and said, um, I think we need to go ahead and try the ride. And we will both tell you, we hate ride. So, but I have the receipt in hand, man. We picked up a four pack, $13.99 from Total Wine along with another Spotten Optimato. She know how to say it, I don't know how to say it. I think you said it right, Bobby. And you've been doing brewing correctly also. So been, I'm gonna give you a hand on that. Shout out to awesome. Bobby P. Yeah, brewing, 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 I'm pronouncing, trying to pronounce my BRs faster. Um, but they do, this doesn't say limited release, but they do have limited release uh, beer. Same thing, but the, I think it's what, it's a lighter color? I think it's a lighter color, but they also have a 14.3. That's what I was getting to. The limited release is 14 points. So 14.3, I thought. 14.3 ABB. But okay, well she point. said, I thought you said 14.2, but you know, you know me. 14.3, we have to get those points correctly. Yeah, because it's, okay. Tell them a little bit about the beer. I, honestly, that's why Bobby's doing this a lot, because I don't know much about this beer. I know it has that toffee aroma, but I'm a little anxious to try it because of the ABV. Your girl isn't gonna lie. I wanna try this ABV and see. Uh, what it's like, you know? I believe it has like a citrus aroma also. Maybe not the flavor, just that aroma to it. So, I guess. What about the, uh, the what, what is it aged in? What type of uh, barrel? Oh, the bottle says it for itself. It's aged in oak rye barrels. Yeah. And a lot of times we have these beers and it says aged in it's not actually aged in exactly what it says. It is, you know, you would have to read up on it, whatever, like we do the other ones, but it's, this one is aged in the raw barrels, which I guess makes sense. But yeah, Kentucky Brewing Company did it again. They have another one. We need to take a trip there. Shout out to our Kentucky people. You know I love it. We take a trip there, they won't have none of our stuff. Tennessee, Kentucky area, we need to, Take a trip yeah, there, and when we do Canton, we will be drinking with you, my guy. 
you will be on drinking with the peanut. You'll probably be getting a tattoo while we trying to drink with him though. But yeah, like uh, like Barbara said, this stuff is it has all the same pretty much uh, stuff ingredients or whatever in it. The the caramel, the coffee. Uh, it has other ingredients that they blend it in just to give it a fruity aroma the citra and you know some other things we're gonna go ahead and get to the taste test so we'll let you know what it smells like and then what it tastes like because huh, it has the rot so let's just get straight to the nitty-gritty did you break the nail bobby i don't have any more don't be fun. We will pick those top. No, we won't. I don't know why she does that. You can see the texture. Oh yeah, and the bitterness on this is, what is it? 33, yeah. Bitterness is 33. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with like, well, a lot of them say IBU, which is the bitterness of the beer. It ranges from zero, of course, to so 120, yeah. And this one is 33. I'm gonna smell it. Do you smell I any? Smell I don't smell any fruity aroma. Again. I'm trying, but I don't smell it. It could have been because we've already been drinking others. I smell just a little bit of the I really don't coffee, smell much of anything. Coffee. Uh that's that's about it but you see the texture is not dark no and it's not light it's kind of a little darker than a caramel color yeah. so but cheers Barbara before. never smelled it this many times yeah we, we we're trying to keep a professional no because I smell like a citrus a little bit I do smell that but then I taste the toffee I taste the toffee I taste the toffee guys but, again, me not being a fan of the rye, this tastes just like. I've had rye before. I've had like rye in like whiskeys and stuff. And I'm like, Ugh. but I don't, in this, I don't taste the rye that I tasted in a whiskey. What about you? No, this tastes just like the other uh, bourbon whiskey beers. By Kentucky? Yeah, I'm gonna say, so, with, yeah, with that with the high ABVs, and also they say this also goes in the category with the uh, what is it, a uh, Scotch? They say the blend, yeah. the way that they blend it up, it's is, like Scotch, yeah. You can you can say it's it has a uh, whiskey Scotch flavor blend to it. But see, when it has this high percentage of ABV, 12.2, and you don't taste that immediately this will go under the category again Bobby of the sneak up on you oh yeah just like that I don't really the taste spotted. anything but the, like the spot toffee that's all I kind of taste in this I smell like a little cit the citrus like I told you but the toffee I taste that immediately I don't taste anything the else. more that I drink it the less toffee I taste it's like another flavor is kicking in and taking over. So I don't know if the citrus is numbing my taste buds to, for me to not taste the toffee, but it's like, it's drowning it out. There's a different flavor that I'm not familiar with. Maybe it's the rye that's doing it, but I, it's a taste I've never tasted before. Yeah. But it's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this on scale. Thank you. Cause I, of, uh, I was wanting you to rate this, Bobby. Go ahead. Well, why when I get ready to rate it, I'm interrupted. Let me. I'm gonna take a sip again. So, what point? What would you rate it? The more I drink it, the more I start to enjoy it. Me um, too. Go ahead. I would actually rate this a, I'd give it an 8.5. This, this is, this is actually delicious.
Yeah, the more I drink it, the the better it becomes. So it's only a four pack. So Barbara will have to go ahead and take you guys. I would rate out. it also. I didn't get to rate it. Oh, the end. you know, last time. She rated a beer. I didn't rate it. So now she wants to rate and I rate. Go ahead, Barbara. No, I mean, if you're all right, then I'm I mean, just trying to go ahead and take right, us out. Because I mean, because we gotta come go. down if you're all right. We have another. Are you all right? We have another bottle we need to finish. This is actually. That's fine, but I like it. Yeah, I was going to rate it an eight also. I got 8.5, you know. But I was going to rate it an eight also. Uh, eight but I wanted to ask you, I guess with your rating it that high. high. Low eight or high? It would be high, but I mean, I'm not gonna do the point system. But so with you rating it in eight point five, you would get this again, wouldn't you, Bobby? You would go and purchase this for Well, pack let me look again. at this receipt. But thank you for uh, joining us, you guys. You asked me a question and then cut it off. Oh, I didn't think you were gonna. I said, let me look at the receipt so I can give you a. Thirty nine nine. For a four pack, man, fourteen bucks for a four pack. I would, I would probably. That's, that's a possibility. Get what you pay for. I know that's a possibility. I would get it again. I would get. Well, it's, it's just when you can get the spotting, and I, I know this is a beer review, and we're not comparing, but that's what we need to start doing: comparing. When you can get a seven point six ABV beer, German beer, okay, six pack for ten forty nine. And it has a kick, like an 11%, 12% ABV beer. Which one would you go with? I would go with the Spotted because right. you have two extra beers. That's just me, my opinion. But That's yes, true. I would probably get this again. I was just answering Barbara's question. That's true. Long term. Take us out, Barbara. Same quarter. I would get this beer again. I mean, you get what you pay for. Sometimes you go in there and the beer that you want isn't there, but then you see the beer that you tried and you're like, oh, that was pretty good. I just go ahead and get those and call it a night. This is that beer that I would get again and call it a night. Thank you for joining us, Peanuts TV.